Hi, we'll continue our coverage of UDT 2025 just outside Oslo in Norway. We are now on the booth of leading Norwegian defense company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace as they are showcasing their Vanguard line of uh, multi-role patrol vessels and uh, I believe they are pitching these uh, designs to the Royal Norwegian Navy and uh, we are going to find out more. So good morning, can you please introduce yourself? Good morning. I'm Frank Tveiten and I'm heading the uh, business development mar marketing and sales for Naval Systems in uh, KDA. All right, Frank. So the Norwegian government uh, announced uh, fairly recently that they are going to procure a large number of patrol vessels for both the Navy and the Coast Guard. And I believe uh, you are pitching your Vanguard line. Uh, is this correct? That's correct. Uh, as you know, they are, they are uh, achieving up to 28 vessels. And as of now, it's 18 for the Coast Guard and 10 for the Navy. And we are promoting those three models you see on the bottom here, which is an, uh, an MCM and uh, command and control vessel, a large offshore naval vessel, and a coastal naval vessel. Both the two, the two latest, they, they can be used in the Navy as a combatant, or as a Coast Guard. What limits then is, of course, the, the military equipment and the capabilities they carry at sea. Uh, Frank, the MCM vessel, uh, it will act as a mothership for uh, uncrewed systems, which is the new trend of conducting uh, mine warfare to keep sailors out of the minefield? That's correct. Uh, the whole idea of the, of the Vanguard uh, system is a standoff concept. Including in the mine, in the mine, uh, mine sweeping, the 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 motor ship will not be in the area which is potentially dangerous. It will utilize USVs, underwater vehicles, uh, to detect and sweep all the mine sets. So we, as here, you can see the mine, uh, the motor ship. Over there, you have one alternative to a USV, and you have the Hugin, and also some aerial uh, which can go and and look for mines from a bird's perspective. Frank, what are some of the key design features of the Vanguard? It looks like a very compact design, yet featuring many capabilities such as uh, aviation, 360 degree bridge, main and second artillery, uh, missile systems, uh, ribs, and so on. Yeah, that is, that is uh, right on. Uh, the Vanguard system is more or less focused and build on the, the loading capability either from the, from, the, from the side or from the stern because what, what we discovered is that if you're going to carry a lot of UXVs and then enhance the capability of the platform which is a standoff uh, you need to carry a lot of vehicles and Vanguard in, in the different uh, alternatives we looked at earlier has the capability to carry a lot of UXVs and uh, heavier uh, containers, fitting NSM and other equipment. The bridge is quite interesting too because it looks uh, very wide, very large uh, relative to the size of the vessel. Mm. It is. And, it, and on, on the bridge side, on the, on the simpler, simpler vanguards, you can have the, the operations room in the back of the bridge area, which, which utilizes all the space and gives more, more space for UXVs and other containers you like to carry at sea, which is modular. So you are uh, again pitching these to the Royal Norwegian Navy. Uh, you have uh, one local competitor also uh, pitching uh, their solution. Uh, what is the schedule for the, 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 the contract award? When can we expect uh, an announcement? Uh, do, do you know? We are of course not clear with, with, with the timeline, but, but the, the, M the MOD indicated that they, they will select a, a uh, strategic partner for the standardized program and uh, hopefully get it into contract within uh, mid-26, which I also think is needed due to, the, due to the situation that the Navy is in, especially on the Coast Guard side. And, and of course uh, you're also promoting uh, Vanguard for export customers. Definitely, definitely. and it's, it's a huge interest uh, in, the, in the European uh, market for Vanguard. Uh, many of the nations, which are smaller navies, are waiting for Norway to, to, to make the final push for, for Vanguard as their standardized vessel. So, fingers crossed. 
All right, Frank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure.